Welcome to the channel guys, we are back again for another fragrance review and today I'm going to be talking about Greenly from Parfums de Marly, so stay tuned for that. If you like fragrance reviews, clone comparisons, top 10 lists, and first impressions, hit that subscribe button for more great content. So Greenly is a fragrance that was recently released by Parfums de Marly, originally I believe the name was Sutton. Um, or it might have even had a different name before that. I know it went through a couple different names for legal reasons that end up getting changed and even recalled. And now it's known as Greenly. And I did do a first impression on this one. And in fact, if you saw the first impression, I actually wasn't that favorable of it. But I do like Parfums de Marley generally as a brand just because I find the quality is pretty good. Um, and especially on the gray market, you can get Parfums de Marley fragrances quite cheap. Um, I know all of mine have gotten like 50% retail, which for me, because they do smell good and perform really well, I do find that it's, at least for me, worth the price. Um, and I want to give this one a try. I do like Parfums de Marley Freshies. A lot of people like, you know, Carlisle Wajon. I do like those ones as well, but I also really enjoy Sedley um, and Galloway. So I really want to give this one another shot. And now finally ready after trying it a couple times to give this one a full review. So... Greenly, I'll say that I like it a little bit more now, but I, I don't think this is one that I love. Um, I don't think this is one person that I will pick up, but I do think it's worth a try. Um, and the opening is actually, for me anyways, probably the best part of this fragrance. It does open up with um, kind of an actual almost aquatic feel. There's something very fresh, clean, watery about it. I don't actually get the green apple right away. I know there's green apple, bergamot, um, and orange. And, you know, right on first impression or the first sniff, that really doesn't come in. It has more of this clean, uh, watery kind of feel. There is something else there, um, which I will say is actually a slightly unpleasant. And I got this a little bit with Percival too. Uh, when you'd first spray Percival, I actually found that it was really off-putting, but that would only last a couple minutes, and then it would move into something quite nice. And, you know, it gets compared to Fierce a lot, and, uh, you know, it would, of course, transition into that. Now, this is not quite as bad, but there is something there, something, I think, in the aroma chemicals that, for me, does not work. So this does have a bunch of different aroma chemicals, and something in that opening doesn't sit right with me. Um, but, you know, after the first couple minutes... Um, and there is that, like I said, that nice, watery, clean feel. That's when the green apple starts to kick in. And I will say the green apple really is, in many ways, the highlight of this fragrance. It's actually really, really nice. Um, it's just this really nice, crisp green apple that feels kind of like maybe somebody's cutting an apple right in front of you or something like that. It's just a really nice, delicious green apple. And it is accompanied with a citrusy feel. Now, I mentioned bergamot. I mentioned orange i don't really pick out any of those individually but i do get a nice sort of citrusy feel to go along with this one now there is something else in this that in the opening i do get a little bit of not full-on powdery but an almost kind of creamy irisy feel and iris is not a listed note and I, i'm gonna you know i feel like it's partially the cashmere in this fragrance that gives it a bit of a silky feel um which because it does come off a little irisy, I'm not a huge fan of that aspect of the fragrance. Um, but that's definitely something to be aware of. This has some florals in it. I don't get a lot of the florals, but I do get a little bit of a sweet fruitiness. And I looked into one of the chemicals that they have in this, Pomerose, which is a uh, floor, it's supposed to smell like a fruity, floral, rosy fragrance. Now, like I said, I don't really get a rosy feel, but I do definitely pick up on a bit of a fruitiness there that does accompany um, that citrusy, apple-y element. And, and, you know, if you do like citruses, apple, a little bit of a fruity feel, there's a good chance that you'll at least like the opening of this fragrance. So, you know, it does have a fairly nice opening, but like I said, not a fan of that um, irisy, sort of silky, powdery kind of feel that it does have. Now, I heard a lot of people talk about this as a woody fragrance. I don't get much woodiness even as this one starts to dry down this one does not come off particularly woody to me i know there is cedar and i think amber wood and in both cases i don't really get either one of them there's maybe some very mild um, woody feeling to this but it's not by any means what i would call a woody fragrance um you know and, and as this one starts to transition it starts to dry down i do get a little bit more of that oak moss um it's not 
it's not so in your face like something like uh, Danger Parfum Cologne by Roja, which I found to be super oak mossy. In fact, so oak mossy that I didn't really like it. But this one, you know, it, it does come off like this more modern fragrance. It does have aspects of it that are um, maybe a little bit more classical, like the oak moss, uh, the woodiness that's there some of the floral, the violet components. And I think part of that airy freshness in the opening is from that violet. Um, but again, it just, I still say that for me anyways, this one doesn't quite do it. it. It has a nice opening, but it is a little bit bland. Now, I remember I compared this one a little bit to Percival. I do still get undertones of Percival. So for me, again, if you have Percival, you might find this one a little redundant. It definitely starts to get a little bit more Percival-y. You know, I feel like right on that sort of watery opening reminds me a little bit of Percival and definitely on the dry down as it, uh, you know, the, the undertone is there. But the big standout difference is sort of this fruity apple citrusy vibe uh, with that cashmere end that does definitely make it uh, a different fragrance, but similar. Definitely very similar. I feel like they're, again, they're, they, they could be brother sister fragrances, uh, you know, flankers, even if you want to call it that way. But it is in a similar vein as Percival. And I actually prefer Percival, although, um, again, Sedley and Galloway are my two favorite freshies from Parfums de Marley. So performance this one is okay. It does have, um, it does have some projection. I definitely had people comment on this one from several feet away. Um, and that was, you know, with not that much, I put a few dabs out of this thing and people could smell this on me from, you know, five, six feet away easily. So it, it does have projection. And I think especially if you're spraying this out of the bottle, you'll get good, good projection out of this one. And it does have a little bit of sillage. Um, but I do find that it is fairly soft, so it's not a thick fragrance, and I guess that's common. It is a fresher fragrance, so it's not going to be super thick like Wajon or Carlisle, but it is a lighter, airier fragrance. It does have a an overall kind of synthetic vibe to it, not in a negative way. It doesn't smell like... I know some fragrances you'll smell apple, but it smells like a fake apple, but that's not really what it is. It's just all this, the the aroma chemicals blending together, it doesn't create something that, to me, other than the apple, really pops out as smelling like a, a specific thing, or the impressions that I often get from it um, are things that I don't really associate with a particular smell, like that fresh, um, watery feel in the, in the, in the opening doesn't, isn't really something that, to me, feels natural, and it isn't something that smells like, you know, fresh ocean breeze or something, it just has this kind of vibe to it. Again, not a really a bad thing. I'm not really dinging it on the fact that it has that synthetic vibe. It's not synthetic in a negative way or in an unappealing way, but it does have an unnatural smell. Except again, that green apple is really, really good. Um, if you like green apple, do yourself a favor and you will want to check this one out. I was also surprised the green apple does last um, quite some time, definitely right into the dry down, even three, four hours on. There is still that nice crispness of the apple there. It doesn't um, smell as green apple-y, as prominent, or have this sort of um, sweet green apple-y vibe, but it does have that nice crisp feel, and you still get impressions of the green apple, which is really, really nice. So again, this is one that I would say I like. I like it more than my initial impression, but it's still not one that I love. Um, I think if I went for an easy to wear freshy from Parfums de Marley that out of the ones that I don't own, I would probably go with Percival first, but that's just me. Um, but longevity, last point to make, longevity is not fantastic. It is six to eight hours. Um, I know a lot of Parfums de Marley last forever. Sedley for me, the new one, the 2020 lasts forever. Galloway is like an eight hour fragrance for me. This one does fall a little bit short of that, but it does, it does perform fairly well for a fresh fragrance. And like I said, the projection is quite good. Um, so at least on that aspect, it's, you know, not lacking. Anyways, that's it for this one. Have you tried Greenly or, you know, leave a comment down below. What is your favorite freshie from Parfums de Marley or another freshie that you just really, really love? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.